Hi, I'm Ro Dr. Robert Hill. I'm your professor for EDD 9810, and I'm here to talk about the third and final major written assignment uh, for the Contemporary Challenges in Higher Education Leadership course. And if you've seen the first two videos, it means we're two-thirds of the way through, and this is our final major written assignment. This assignment's worth 30% of your grade. And we're going to write about the same institution that you wrote about for assignment number two, your specific college or university. And there's two parts to this assignment. And if you uh, follow the instructions, it's almost like a recipe. Your end product will come out fine. And uh, you'll see why this assignment is worth 30 points, because the first two papers were 8 to 10 pages. And this assignment, I'm looking for you to shoot for about 12 to 14 pages. So let's take the first piece. The first piece is um, where you are holding up a lens and you're really analyzing and critiquing uh, your institution. Now remember, this is core area three. We've looked at the past of higher education in your college and university. We've looked at the present. And core area three is about the future challenges for the um, institutional leadership. So by now, I want you to, you've already done a document or a review and you've surveyed where the strategic plan is. You should know about the mission and the vision, the key values and priorities and goals. And I want you to describe those for me in part one. Not cut and paste, but simply describe the mission, the vision, the values, those key goals, the main issues and future priorities. Then I want you to do what's known as a SWOT analysis, or part of what's known as environmental scan, uh, scanning. And you're going to look at the internal and the external sides of the organization of your college. So in part, um, in, in number two of part one, you're going to describe the results of the internal assessment, the strengths and the weaknesses. And, and when we get to the action plan, you're going to shore up those weaknesses and you're going to capitalize on those strengths. So you need to know what the strengths and weaknesses of your college or university are. And don't forget to include the resource analysis, not just the financial resources, but also human capital as well. And now I want you to look outside the organization and describe the primary opportunities and the threats based upon that external stand, looking at the social, political, economic, demographic, technological trends, looking at the competition. So now you have some opportunities and you also have some threats. That first part of this paper should take about four to five pages. A lot of it is boilerplate information, but I think you'll benefit from doing that SWOT analysis. And now that you should come up with a challenge, and if you're familiar with the strategic plan, you should know what the institution is currently focused on, what they have their eyes set on for the next four or five years. I want you to identify a challenge that's not being addressed by the strategic plan. And that's where you're going to come up with this future challenge. And you're going to write an action plan, not a strategic plan, but an action plan. And the other major decision you need to do for part two is you need to come up with a change theory or a change model that you've been exposed to, from whether or not it's been in other courses or in your master's program or from social psychology. But um, you need to adopt some kind of framework for your action plan. And I'm sure you're familiar with Kurt Lewin. He's probably the pioneer, the guru of social, modern day social psychology and organizational psychology. And whether or not you use his force field analysis or you use Ronald Lippitt's um, seven stages of change theory or Don Kirkpatrick's model or uh, Roger Kaufman and Dale Lick's model or John Cotter's model, you need a model that you're gonna use that you're gonna address the change in your organization at your institution because you could have the greatest idea but if you don't get that all-important buy-in from the faculty or the administration or even the staff then that initiative is not going to go anywhere now true this is just an academic exercise but people have told me that by doing this assignment it's been a springboard for their applied dissertation so now that you have the challenge and you have the change theory the model that you're going to use as a framework you need to address the content strategies and the process strategies. You can't, just, for instance, you need to be specific. You can't just say uh, to fund this initiative, someone's going to write a grant. Who's going to write the grant? What grant? What happens if you don't get the grant? 
So you need to think about these things. And that's why part two, I'm looking for seven to 10 pages. Okay, so when you put part two together with part one, that's where I come up with this 12 to 14 pages. Now the Outback, Gumport, and Burkall book don't really address the change agentry piece. Uh, our, the previous textbook, the, 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 um, the Robert Diamond book does, and that's on the supplemental reading list. And if you go on the course menu, the course content area, under core area three, I put some of these uh, change theory, these models as PDFs and links. So you can get some information right there inside of Blackboard, but you may also want to go to a leadership um, or management text or social psychology text to find uh, one of those theories. All right, so get started early. Come to the help session on Collaborate if you have any questions. Um, and, it, and don't forget to finish in time so you can edit it, let it simmer, put on the back burner and come back with fresh eyes and proofread it and submit it inside of Blackboard. Good luck, everybody. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me via the 800 number or via course message inside Blackboard. But good luck. Take care.